Hi, I'm Brett from 4x4 Obsession. Finally, we've got all the bits for Danny's power upgrade here, all in one place. We've got the six litre LS2, which Danny purchased from Queensland. It's been test driven by Danny, so we know it's a good low K engine. The auto we've got back from Wholesale Automatics, it's been fully strengthened, has a modified torque converter with it as well, and it's also got the adaption kit for the transfer case to be fitted. All of the improvements that Wholesale Automatics have made to the auto have been done specifically with full driving in mind, and also to make sure that the vehicle is as reliable as it can be, the power output of the six litre and the off-roading. We've also got a custom radiator from Riverstone Radiators which is designed to fit straight in and to, it is an upgraded radiator so it will handle the off-roading required and but more importantly adequately cool the engine. With these new generation engines they are full electronic engines so not something that you really want to attempt wiring up in your backyard. We've actually had a loom sent up to Killer Custom Cables, which has been completely modified so it interfaces directly with the 80 series to the 6 litre loom, which makes it a very, very simple plug and play installation. Very neat as well. So from here, it's just a case of stripping out all the old Toyota engine and auto from Danny's vehicle and fitting up the 6 litre with the new auto and his original transfer case back into the vehicle, fitting in the wiring loom, the custom wiring loom and radiator and fire her up. And once we've got it fired up, it'll be leaving here and going out to Ringwood Performance Exhaust where they're going to put on a fully customised exhaust system. A conversion like this would normally take around about four weeks of solid work to do it all properly and have it at a level where it's engineerable. Probably one of the most important parts is that the vehicle must be engineerable at the end. This is why you're far better off to actually get somebody to do the work that has done it many times before or has been in the industry for a long time. Not something that you want to tackle yourself in the backyard. The engineering requirements are quite specific. If anybody's looking for a clapped out Toyota six cylinder 1FZFE, or maybe those blokes are into fishing and looking for a new boat anchor, give Danny a call. I'm sure he'd be quite happy to pay you to take it. As you can see, there is a lot of parts required for this job, and it's not so easy to source some of them if you don't know exactly what you're after. It's a very, very costly mistake to make if you actually try and do it yourself and have to have it done twice. I'm Brett from 4x4 Obsession. Stay tuned over the next few months while we turn Danny's tired old 80 series Land Cruiser into a 6 litre powered V8 monster.